In this lesson, I'd like to discuss some of the major mesenteries. Now, we can't see all of them on here, but we at least have a good idea where most of them will line. Now, the two that I'm going to discuss will deal with primarily, will deal with, of course, the stomach and colon. Now, we have uh, removed some anatomy here just to kind of show you guys very simplistically uh, with the colon and stomach. And in blue, I'm going to draw the lesser omentum on top of the stomach and the sheet of mesentery there that you would find going up to the liver from there. Now, the greater omentum will, and I'm gonna, we're going to cut it off here now, it will continue over and drape over the large intestine, a very uh, large mesentery, um, is that, but we're going to cut it off and leave it here for simplicity's sake. Now, the other portion that we want to use, I'm going to draw in purple. We have a tremendous amount of mesentery inside the colon itself as a sheet holding the colon in, holding uh, structures of the colon together here, and we would see it in the small intestines, holding the small intestine we have as mesentery. And the mesentery is inside the colon uh, that we see. So we have the mesenteries in purple, the greater omentum in orange, uh, and the lesser omentum in blue. And that is the primary ones that we can see very well in the book. There are a few other mesenteries that you guys in know, the parietal and visceral peritoneum. Just remember that your parietal peritoneum uh, covers your body wall, and the visceral peritoneum will cover particular organs like kidneys, etc. You will find that there. And then there is pericardium uh, that you guys talk about in the circulatory system. Uh, but this concludes our video on mesenteries that we can see mostly, most clear in our textbooks. Thank you.